I rise today in strong support of H.R. 5314, the Protecting Our Democracy Act. This sweeping package of reforms would restore integrity, accountability, and transparency to our government. The landmark reforms in this bill would protect against future abuses, no matter who is president. This includes preventing abuses of the president's pardon power and requiring the president and vice president to disclose their tax returns. This bill includes many provisions that have bipartisan su support. For example, the bill includes a provision based on a bill previously introduced by Representative Darrell Issa to make it easier for Congress to enforce subpoenas. The bill would strengthen protections for inspectors general by allowing and only allowing an IG to be removed for specific documented causes. This reform passed the House with a bipartisan vote in June as part of a bill I introduced to increase the independence of inspectors general, and it passed the House with overwhelming bipartisan support in 2007. This bill also includes the Bipartisan Whistleblower Protection Improvement Act, which I was proud to introduce. These provisions would strengthen protections for whistleblowers who are retaliated against for reporting waste, fraud, and abuse. These reforms would provide whistleblowers the long overdue right to challenge retaliation in court. It would also prohibit agencies from launching retaliatory investigations and disclosing a whistleblower's identity. And it would make clear that no federal employee, including the President or Vice President of the United States, may interfere or retaliate against a whistleblower for sharing information with Congress. The Protecting Our Democracy Act would also protect the government from political interference by strengthening the Hatch Act. Just last month, the Independent Office of Special Counsel found that 13 senior Trump administration officials, including top White House aides and cabinet members, broke the law by using their official government position to campaign for President Trump. This legislation would also limit who can be named an acting official and for how long. I thank Representative Katie Porter for her leadership on these reforms, which are included in her bill, the Accountability for Acting Officials Act. The reforms in this bill have broad support from over 150 groups, including the Brennan Center for Justice and the Project on Government Oversight. My colleagues from across the aisle continue to claim that this bill is about punishing former President Trump, but this is simply not true. While this bill addresses issues that were highlighted by past abuses, it is not about the past, it, it is about the future of our democracy and it will strengthen our democracy. I strongly urge all of my colleagues both Democrats and Republicans, to vote for the Protecting Our Democracy Act, and I reserve the balance of my time.